In the lecture, we will learn moment curvature curve and how to draw it using SAP 2000. The structural ductility can be expressed at different levels. First is material level by stress strain plot of materials. Second is cross section level by moment curvature curve. And the member level is expressed by moment deformation curve. And at structural level by load displacement curve. Moment curvature analysis is a method to accurately determine the load deformation behavior of a concrete section using non-linear material stress strain properties and their relationships. The applied load is shown as the moment while the curvature displays the deformation. Curvature ductility is the ratio of strain in material at ultimate stress and strain in material at yield stress. The larger the difference between the two values provide a more ductile material. We have to plot the moment curvature curve for the shown material. The Fc prime and Fy is given. The cross section of the material is shown. Let's start with SAP 2000. Moment curvature curve is sometimes required in performance based analysis and defining different kind of properties. So let's start with the concrete cross section of 3000 psi strength as given. We have to press switch to advanced properties so that we can overwrite the properties. Let's check the modulus of elasticity by using AC as recommended formula. 57,000 under root FC prime and the value of FC prime to be taken in pounds per square inch will give us the modulus of elasticity in PSI. For KSI, you have to divide the answer by 1000. As I am using KSI units in SAP 2000, so I will be cross checking that. The specified compressive strength is 3 KSI. We have to go to nonlinear material properties and change it to concrete. It's up to you whichever hysteresis model you are using. Strain at unconfined compressive strength Fc prime. Strain at ultimate capacity. You can specify the energy degradation factor as per your observation in the experimental behaviors. Mentor is the stress strain relationship developed. So we can use the relationship for developing the moment curvature curve for reinforced concrete. We have to specify the number of ties in x direction, center to center distance between the tie legs. That is the lateral cover minus the cross section similarly for the y axis that is beam height minus the cover tie to tie central to center spacing and press update plot so your plot will be updated incorporating the cross sectional properties at beam level You can also press convert to user define in order to see the spectral ordinates of the curve. And press OK. Now we have to define an SD section based on our material. First let's define the rebar we'll be using. You can also check the rebar modified and properties. 
you can also use the park and poly model for reinforcement but I am considering a simple model here as taken as default you can manage this data as well based on your experimental properties for the specific rebar you are using in the experiment or the design let's define the other section with a section designer let's name it as the beam size that is 12 by 24 inches let's proceed with section designer Now right click on it and you can rename it change the height and width according to the given criteria for us it was 12 inch by 24 inches reinforcement you can press either yes from here or simply place the reinforcement here by using the section designer option so it has automatically taken reinforcement on its own you can check the concrete stress strain curve by clicking on C model and change the reinforcement and then observe the change Now let's save the model because sometimes if you have a cracked version so it will give an error so I have to find a new concrete section as it was not updating the plot so that error was important to be shown so you knew how to deal with it you must save the model as I was again and again getting only the user defined option so I have to edit it into parametric and click on mender and click on ok so now I will see the mender option here as well as previously I was not getting this option so you see automatically mender option is available here now you can check mender confined and unconfined as we are considering the confined condition involving the ties or for beams you can say them as a stirrups you can select reinforcing no from here and specify the reinforcement within the concrete section and if you are taking mander confined you can specify the reinforcement here as well or specify in within the section designer both options will be correct we were given with the number 8 bars as main bars and the number of bars was 3 the longitudinal spacing between the ties is 6 inches number of ties in height is 1 and ties in width as it's taking a whole tie width of center to center of outer reinforcement width minus cover it means as the tie width so you can see the stress strain curve of the reinforced concrete section it was important to develop the stress strain curve in complete terms for the reinforced model so we'll specify the reinforcement as well over here as well I have deleted the model by mistake so I'll do the undo
since I have specified the reinforcement from inside I can remove all the reinforcement here let's let have a look what is what if we define the reinforcement here as well you can keep these hanger bars still there because there will always be hanger bars but in our given scenario we didn't have hanger bars so we can neglect them but in actual reinforced concrete beams there are always number two uh, two minimum bars at least in the top to hold up these stirrups I've changed the cover the literal cover is one inch you can take it 1.5 inches as well based on the exposure to water or soil So it was placing bar actually but not the stirrup. So we can delete these bars or set them to none. So at least we have a confined area here. Let's change its diameter to number 8 bar. Now we have specified the cross section with the main reinforcement and selected Mandrel confined model and within the confined model we have also specified our design reinforcement. Now we are ready for moment curvature curve. You can also export this material data from here as it is in editable format. You can copy it to Word. Simply press Ctrl C and paste it in word document press ctrl v and you'll be getting this in a report form similarly you can do this with steel properties you defined Control A and then Control V in Word. From here, you can develop the moment curvature curve. You can also get a refined curve by going to details and then exporting it you can also hover the mouse over the curve on the right side you can see a strain diagram within the concrete section as per your defined properties and look at the neutral axis as well You can also specify the scales and headings. It's an editable format. So from here, by clicking on the details, you press Ctrl A, Ctrl and A key on the keyboard, and press Ctrl C to copy it. And then Ctrl V in Word. Since it is a big table, so you will need to fit it in. You can also copy your selective rows so that 
let's say tendon strain here is zero so we can we could have ignored it to make it fit in the document we can also press the auto fit option in the word so the table is fit in the word document that's how we plot the moment curvature curve in sap 2000 thank you for watching dear engineers i hope you all are doing well Engineering Learning Platform is one place to get engineering knowledge and solutions. Please follow us for more information and updates.